What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome, welcome, welcome to a new episode of As the Buckle Turns, the wrestling podcast from Zero One Podcast Group. I'm Adam. I'm Tim. And Tim, how you doing? All right, for the snowy weather that we have out yeah, there. I know, we're finally getting snow. Oh, God, I hate snow. It is not... Here's my thing, rules on, on snow. Okay. It's allowed to snow the 23rd of December for Christmas. I don't So ca- that you have a white Christmas. Yeah, I don't care about that either, but just for the people who do, it looks nice. It's got to be fully melted by the 26th, though. Okay. That's right. my rules. Spring starts the 27th. <laughs> what? You have a really short winter time. Yes. It's like three days. Exactly. Okay. All right. Uh, you know, I don't mind. I don't care. Yeah. Whatever. If I actually had the money I'll have to, to go... shovel. Yeah. If I had the money to go like snowboarding. Oh. And all that. If I went outside, <laughs> yeah. it would be great. I, I would I'd be enjoy it more. But the thing is, uh, around here, it costs way too much to go skiing or snowboarding. Yeah. It costs too much to do anything. That's true. We are in New Hampshire. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so we've, it's one more week until we do predictions. So the filler goes on. I don't say, I wouldn't say filler, but news. Uh, we'll, we'll kind of actually have some time for a change to actually do what we were doing when we originally started this podcast. We had topics. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Um, which we could, we may actually be able to get back to a little bit more because the way they're, oh, WWE next year's doing... pay-per-view schedule. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, there'll be times where I think we won't have to have one. We can just cover the news, stuff like that. If we're like, you know, we want to just do a news thing. What? And we don't have really anything to bitch about. I know. We but always have something to bitch we about. We always have something to bitch about, but none of them can really go on. Like, like Roman Reigns, WrestleMania win. Uh, that, we're going to bitch on that for a few months. That'll be that'll be a topic. That might get us to the rest of, to like SummerSlam. But I, then after maybe, that, we may not. You know, depending you on how know. long he holds that belt. Oh, God. <laughs> Anyway, let's get on the news. Uh, what's All the right. first one you got there? Uh, I've got the fact that Matt Hardy seems to be attempting to break the internet now. Really? Yes. He's trying to break the internet. Yes, because something has awoken. Oh, I can't do it. I can't do a Matt. No, you can't. Uh, oh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's just that's really creepy. That's it. But it's amazing at the you, same time. You know, he probably spent like months before, like annoying his wife oh yeah trying to think about which one's better and she's like matt i can't tell the difference anymore just pick one well this one does this and this one does this and she's like she's like seriously just stop just choose one of them i'm sick of all of this do both and just yeah (laughs) no one will tell the difference he's like that's genius runs away (laughs) <laughs> records it and comes back and he's like look how awesome it is and she's like i told you to stop <laughs> but yeah she's like max is more mature than you <laughs> jeff's over on the side just laughing like brother Nero, shut up we haven't gotten there yet we're not we're not i don't actually i don't think that they really i don't think brother nero would be bringing that character back right now wouldn't be good well he's out with an injury so it doesn't really matter yeah, but I, I would like to see Jeff stay as a single star, mm-hmm. and then, but Matt always refer to him as Brother Nero, mm. and Jeff just kind of go, yeah, yeah, we're gonna play along with that. Sure, whatever. <laughs> but like introduced to the ring as Jeff Hardy, yep. he comes out in his you know the Enigma style that yep. he does, but he doesn't adopt Brother Nero as a character. Hmm. We'll see. And then eventually something has to happen and he steps into being brother Nero because Matt really needs brother Nero not this Jeff Hardy that's pretending to be bro- brother Nero so it would be really interesting to see if something happened to Jeff mm-hmm. um, and Matt comes out and say, needing help with a feud um, and he says this form of you is weak brother We, you need to engage your inner Nero and then walk off. Like, even, like, pull his head up. Like, it doesn't even yeah. help him up. It just, like, pulls him up. It, like, says it all to him. It just says it all to him. And then it says this drop. And he does this little goofy laugh and just walks away. See, that would be good. Because I, I have a feeling that they can build Matt or woken Matt Hardy uh, as more of an otherworldly creature. Yeah. And I do like the fact that they're, you know, having this back and forth with Bray. But I think it's too early. It would have been better building up to WrestleMania 
Oh yeah. And give them a WrestleMania match. They could still go with this if they have enough. If they depending on how they go about it. Okay. They could still do, um, this at WrestleMania. Yeah, just. But don't, we'll see. Don't bring up Sister Abigail ever again. Just let it. Just let it go away. <laughs> It's a well, ghost you know, in the wind now. Matt has already said he's going to delete his, um, his alter ego, Sister Abigail. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, thank you. <laughs> no, Sister Abigail can be brought up. Just actually make her a person. Yes. Not not Bray. Okay, yeah. Have not Bray reason. in a shawl. Having her, a have, veil. Have her um, possessing someone. Yes. And then when you're done with that, you can make... Um, Sister Abigail go away, and that person can then go move on to something else. But oh well. Um, but yeah, so we have broken. I mean, sorry, sorry. It's woken. Awoken, Matt Hardy. And and I, I also think it's genius that they're doing it this way in the WWE mm-hmm. instead of saying that he's broken. That way, if he does leave, and most likely WWE will do their typical thing and copyright woken Matt Hardy. Mm-hmm. And when he's competing at a different company, he can still do the broken character, but the character's broken there yeah. because he's not in the right universe. And that's what he says. And you're just like, oh, you're still playing the kayfabe, Matt. Hmm. The kayfabe is real. It's still real to me, damn it. <laughs> uh, thanks for stealing my news piece because I'm the one that told you that. I know. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> hey, by the way, you got something right here. Right here. Oh, oh, oh. Thief. Yep, right on the side. Yep. Yeah. Actually, totally worth it. <laughs> totally worth it. Uh, but, yeah. So, it was, yeah. So, I mean, no, it makes sense. Um, And w- some people are probably wondering why Vince is going with this character. Not just the character in general of Woken, but just you allowing Matt to be the play this thing as pre established somewhere else. Oh, definitely. Because... And the history of WWE, look at it in this case. Most recent example, Shinsuke Nakamura. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, so why is this different? One is he sees it as a, a way of catching on a pre-established character. Yes. For once. But also, I'm pretty sure he feels that he in himself helped create the character because the Hardys are originally from WWE. Yeah. So It's a he, little twisted. But Some he, mental gymnastics are, are needed to make that work. Not necessarily. Not a lot. Because, I mean, he could probably see it like I helped them get I, to that level. That Ooh. all they needed to do was change their character and they were able to reach another level. Yeah, they, they were. he was able to, by stuff he learned from WWE, but wasn't able to incorporate it for a while. Yeah. He was able to use it somewhere else and establish it. But he learned it from Vince. He learned it from what he got from the WWE. Which right. is true. He learned a lot of stuff from yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Um, unlike, like unlike most people, who, when they come from the WWE to another program and just bitch and complain, they don't ever take what they learn right. to establish something else. Now, I do have to say though, TNA did use Matt a lot better. Oh yeah, and making him be a better they they brought they raised his star level. Yes, um, because but, yeah, WWE never really used him as a single star. Yeah. He was kind of a sideshow. He was always a mid, high mid card at the most. Yes, Jeff was always a star. Right, and one of the things that he even people are saying that Matt is trying to wants to prove that he can be a major level star like Jeff, and he and, can be. Um, and doing the Matt, the broken Matt Hardy stuff did. So Vince's mind frame is that he's he's allowing us to reap the rewards of this, but also because he probably feels like. He helped him involved, was involved in, in some small part, so it's okay because he can still lay like, claim to it in some way. Personally, I think that's all BS. Oh yeah, but the, they're finally caving to the fans. I th- but they're making up so many stories to be like, we're not caving to the fans. We're uh, we're always been there, and you're like, no, no, you're. We see it. It could be. I mean, I think this is probably what one of the ways this one of his thought process. In a sense, they probably could be giving to, into the fans too, um, because they know they're not going to give it. He's not giving into the fans of what they want at WrestleMania. Right. Right. With like, once again putting Roman Reigns over everyone, <laughs> and they doesn't want that. No. Yeah. No. This is his, this is Vince's way of saying we'll give the fans something they want, but not exactly what they want. It. You know what? 
Because, I like it. Because Vince has done that before. He's always given the fans what they want. Not exactly what they wanted. No. Certain things that they wanted. Um, it's always what Vince wants. Right. But. Speaking uh, of what Vince wants. So this, uh, this past week, a couple of shows, house shows, international. Uh, one in Abu Dhabi mm-hmm. and the other one in New Delhi. Okay. Uh, in New Delhi, it was the tri- uh, Triple H. Triple H. Versus Ginger. Did you did you write that on my sheet? I didn't write it. I have I see here ginger is crossed out and then there's there's your chicken scratch of ginger around it. I didn't write it. If I can if you All can right. read it, yeah, I didn't write it. So the people who are monitoring us slipped in here and did that to Oh. No. No. It's we, just it's just my mind games are finally working on you. Okay. All right. Well, Triple H went over <laughs> ginger Ginger. Triple, Triple H. Ginger. Okay. Uh, yeah. At the New Delhi show. Don't get that. That's ginger. <laughs> <laughs> Which, cool. But there's a problem with that because less than, tw- or about 24 hours earlier, Roman Reigns beat Triple H in the ring clean. So, by that logic, Roman is greater than Triple H, who is greater than Ginger. Who, Ginger, ginger. was just the ginger. No. Was just the champion on SmackDown. I know. Uh, let's Tim, keep. But there Tim, is a there's a weird thing in this though. To me, the, before we get to that weird okay. thing, to me this is just a sign that WWE is pulling the plug on Jinder. Oh God! Yeah, yeah I yeah. said I said his name correctly. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Um, Don't you mean Jinder? D- Ginger. <laughs> it's not Jinder. <laughs> It's Ginger. Okay, all right. That's the way I've been saying it. But Ginger Mahal, like, they're pulling. If he lost in India, they're kind of pulling this. Um, yeah. Or they're using it, maybe gauging it to see how overall it affects. But I, I think they're gauging effects because there's a weird thing that happened at both shows. What's that? Um, so at the end of the match, uh, a number of heels came out. Uh, Samoa Joe. Which match? Uh, the Abu Dhabi match against uh, Roman. Okay. A uh, number of heels came out. Uh, then the the other two members of the Shield came out. Okay. And Triple H helped the Shield, who are faces right now, yep. fight off the heels. Interesting. And then shook Roman's hand in the ring. Interesting. So the biggest heel in the game... Just gave a baby face props and helped them in the ring. Yep. And then the next night, he beats the heel. Yep. And then, and then attacks the heels. The it was the Singh brothers. Yeah. Um. After the match, are we getting a Triple H baby face push? Uh, who knows? This was a house show, so it could have just been him having fun. I true, true. Personally, I think what's going to happen is whatever the plans are for Triple H at WrestleMania, yeah. this is all going to tie into it. I, I um, have that feeling, too. Uh, it'd be kind of fun to see like a storyline where Triple H is just you know, saying um, he's sick of the McMahons running this thing with Stephanie Mc- and um, Shane. Yeah. And saying, screw you all, I'm taking over. I, I think that would be a cool power play. It'd be kind of cool power play. Like, he'd be like, Steph, I love you, but you're fired. Yeah. I'm taking over. Shane at WrestleMania, if they do Shane versus Triple H, because um, there's so many potential matchings. Oh, I know. Of, for uh, for Shane and Triple H right now yes. at WrestleMania, it could be the other one. It's like I'm gonna beat you, and then I'm gonna be I'm gonna run both shows. And or it could be Shane and Kurt Angle. Yeah. Well, but I'm saying like, like for this this storyline, I'm gonna take over, and I'll be running both shows. Yeah. There'll still be two brands, but I'm running both of them. Yeah. So, but basic. Oh man, actually, you know that he'd be three players because he he runs NXT. <laughs> well, no, the the best part of it it goes back to the classic dynamic of Raw GM, SmackDown GM, and the one person that controls both of them. Yeah, which used to be, you know, it was Vince at the top. Yep, and, a GM. and then and then a GM on each show, and you had a it was a great power because both of them were trying to suck up to the big guy. Yeah. And at kind the same of. time, be the the more powerful of the of the two. So it lent yeah. itself. You could have that again. Yeah, Kurt uh, and Daniel Bryan, or whoever they replace Daniel with. Yeah, bring back CM. No, <laughs> CM Punk would be a weird choice as a GM. 
<laughs> It'd be a fun choice, though. I, oh man, talk about going off script. Oh that no, would be hilarious. No, who'd be a really fun to, to bring back because it was short lived, but it would be really fun. Bring back um AJ. Uh, AJ oh, Lee. Yeah. AJ Lee. That would be, SmackDown. That would be interesting. She doesn't have to wrestle. She because nope, she nope. still does, she still doesn't want. She says she still has that inkling to wrestle. Um, so she could wrestle when she wanted to. As a GM sometimes does. Yep. Uh, but be more of a, like, I'm not here to wrestle. But if you th- ladies, like men and ladies, if you think you're going to get in my face, I'll put you down. Like, even see that. And yeah. that's like, like, that's like someone like tall. Like, I like, like Braun Strowman just like <laughs> went to a SmackDown. And her, she's like, comes up to him and has like his navel. And she's yeah. like, and she's just poking him like, I'll put you down. <laughs> and he's like, she, she doesn't look up. She's yeah. just like. You and listen he, to me. And he's just like, what do you think you're doing? What are you going to do? And she like kicks him in the balls. Just like that. He, he bends down. She just grabs him by yeah. the nose. He's grabs like, him by the beard. Yeah. He's like, okay. Him. okay. All right. Like, wow. Get, okay. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I don't, you're so tiny. <laughs> and then Ron Strowman's like, he's still the monster among men. Yeah. But he also is like, it's like, I, I, I respect you. I, and if he, she becomes like her bodyguard. Not like bodyguard, but like the way she... Way she keeps the men in line. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That'd be kind of fun. But he's nothing changes with the character. No. He can do whatever he wants. Like she doesn't baby him, but like if someone comes at her, they have to deal with Strowman. Yeah. He's like, uh uh-uh. uh. Oh, it even better is someone asks him why he's, you know, afraid of her. And he's yeah. like, I looked into her eyes. Nice. You don't want to do that. No. <laughs> and then finally like, I like, saw something in there, man. Like that's like a year of him. Like, saying- like, he gets scared. Like after like a year of like him constantly like saying this, yeah, um, we finally see what they, he means, and he's like takes someone I don't know like someone big, but not as big as Strowman, but like just someone who's really like big. The Big Show? No. Okay. Like maybe like Corbin, but maybe after you built him up or yeah. uh, someone like just someone like a big, and she just lays waste to him. <laughs> like who could take it? Who could like you could like, do to Cena like like someone like Cena like. Yeah, him getting beat up like a girl would hurt him, but it's Cena, he wouldn't care. Right. Like someone like who's obviously like another like a few months, like a, like a year or two left on their thing. Um, Chris Jericho, maybe yeah, someone like, just someone like, an AJ big, Styles at, in the next ten five years or so. Ro- a Roman Reigns that tomorrow. Makes, tomorrow, yeah, but I, he actually goes away because he actually is embarrassed. <laughs> um, but just something where it's like she just like. Ways laced to him. Yeah. And it's not even like a cheap shot, like a low blow or anything. No, no. No. She like guts the knee. Like, let's put like, someone stands up to her. Like, Strowman's like out with an injury. Like, the guy took Strowman out. Okay. And then he comes in and is like, what are you going to do about it? And she's, he's like, exactly. He turns around and she just go like, n- takes out his knee. She, Ric Flair yep. takes his knee out. Yep. And it's not like, it's not like he's like, what did you do? Like, and he comes around and I was like, no. When he she takes it out she takes it out hard. Yes. Um, and the guy was like, and then she just goes after the knee, after the knee, brings in a chair, after the knee. Yeah, it gets to a point where, as the audience, you're asking someone to stop. Yep. You're she, like, someone tell her to stop, she, please. Not just goes after the knee, but like, this is just to weak that knee, so she he can't get back up. The it's like if he gets back up, he's not gonna be able to really do much anyway because that knee's really bad. Yeah. But then she starts taking out his arms, his back with a chair. Maybe grabs another weapon, a kindle stick, starts laying into him, then locks him into her Black Widow, like, submission hole that she used. Okay. And makes him, like, scream. Like, and he's, like, and he's a big guy, but yet he, she ruined him so much, the strength isn't there because he can't really. Yeah. And he's just, like, ah! And he says, she's, like, say it! Like, Strowman has recovered, has a mic there, and it's, like, <laughs> say it! Okay, okay! You win! You win! No, say you quit. <laughs> yeah, that's how she fires people. And, and she's like, he's like, she, I quit, for, I quit, I quit. And she lets him, and lets she holds him it on there again. But then she like, let's go, goes to like leave, picks the, with the chair, like goes to leave, and then it's like he's starting to get back, whack, and he goes down, something like that. It's like, I don't care how big you are. Yeah. How strong you think you are. That would just be weird booking, though. It would be weird booking, but it would be so hilarious to see, like, no, I know this. Um, and even use some nope. real, like, real life, like, MMA, like, self-defense stuff that you couldn't 
Uh, someone like her weight could yeah. use to take out someone. Now, there is somebody else that's on my radar to take over as a GM position. Who's that? RVD. Oh, okay. Uh, so he's came back up in the news again. Ex-wife wanting money. A lot more money. And he doesn't really have it. He's like, I, he's like no, because he doesn't have it. It's just like he can't earn mo- the, uh, the amount of money. Yeah, he can't earn the amount of money that she thinks she's entitled to, uh, so, which he should be earning, you know, what was it, 105000 a year? It was something like that. And he's like, I haven't been able to earn that since I was with the WWE. No, it wasn't. Well, yeah, but he was able to get make money with his independent shows. Right, because he, but it's yeah. not that level of money. Not anymore right. because of an injury. Right. And the reason, I mean... The money is it's WWE level money. Yep. And he said that he can't compete for the WWE because he received a, a concussion so bad that he fails their tests. It damaged his eye, his sight. Yeah, his so, sight. So he can't like he can't do the uh, wrestling anymore. He can still work for him. He just can't wrestle for right. Them. That's why I was like, bring him in as as a new GM. That would be him as a GM. That'd be it. Would be weird. That would be weird. SmackDown. Yeah. With the way that SmackDown is working right now? No, no, no. You see, I think it would be more fun. Him on Raw? <laughs> yeah, messing with Stephanie. How much no, fun? No, no, no. I'm I'm saying post Stephanie and Shane being fired. Ah, uh, no, see, I'm saying looking at... I get, I get you mean by that. But no, even like just having him like on... Even if you did like the whole Triple H consolidating power, RVD came in, having him mess with Hunter is like, whatever, man. Yeah, that uh, that would be great. Or just like, no, I need you to take care of this. He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll whatever. Get it I'll get done, it. man. I'll get it done. Jeez. <laughs> Chill, bro. Well, even wow. like even like if you had the, still the Stephanie and Shane Angles part going, yeah. and him dealing with Stephanie, and he's like, and she's threatening him. He's, and like, he's like, whoa, man. I'll fire you. Whatever. <laughs> All right. All right. I mean, my stuff's packed in the room right now. I'm like, I don't have that much. To, I don't. I'm not. I got you, like three suits. You, you give me like you make me. You give me good money here, but it's like, I'm not that big like mansion kind of guy. So I can live without you, this job. And she's just like, I'm like, wait, how am I supposed to control you? Yeah. I can't threaten to fire you. <laughs> That'd be so much fun. But yeah, it sucks that he can't like wrestle or. Like I know. That. Um, but I mean, he's getting up there in age, so it's not like he's gonna. He's definitely in his forties. He, he at this point, even if they they did come back for it, have him yeah. come back, it'd be for a quick stunt, more of a like a wrestle like a Royal Rumble thing, um, than anything else. A, a legend spot yeah. at WrestleMania, but it something like that. Um, and his popularity, he's still popular with the hardcore fans. Yes, but the newer like he's not gonna be that big of a deal if he came back at this point. Oh no no no! He he, really looking at it. If they did bring him back as, even for a run, yep, it would just be a hey RVD's here. Yep. Oh, and, and I mean seriously, we'd get the exact same RVD match that we've seen since about what ninety uh, five. Yeah. Uh, speaking of a run, yes. Uh, one to throw a, another name out there for a hunter opponent. Yes, there's a talk of bringing back. Dave Batista. Oh my God, I would not have. Well, I mean, we've we've covered this already. We've, we've covered this, but I wouldn't put Batista against a Triple H for the at WrestleMania this year. No, or no, this no, coming no. one. No, I'd yeah. have I'd have Batista come back right after. Yeah, I don't know if you want. Even bring... if it was the Raw after WrestleMania. See, I'm okay with him bringing him in before WrestleMania to do something and build up. Uh, build up to the Triple H run, but he said he oh. it has to be. Yeah, no, no, a full no. run, house I've, shows and everything. I, I've got I'll it. let you go. I've got it. Oh, I've by the way, I'm gonna go. very funny. Um, maybe he gets a guest spot at at Royal Rumble. Okay, either he's in the back. Yep. or he's an entry. Either one, don't care. It's it's short. It's just to be like, hey guys, how's it going? Maybe he's just like, hey Hunter, how you doing? Then. You know, you see him again at the 25th anniversary. He's just like, oh, hey, Dave's here again. And he keeps doing these, like, random just in the back type of thing mm-hmm. all the way through WrestleMania. By WrestleMania, you're, you're like, Dave's there every week. <laughs> and they're like, Triple H at some point is just like, he and, Shay, he and uh, Stephanie are just like, Dave, 
are you looking for a job? And he's like, no, no, I'm not looking for a job or anything. He's just like, he's like, I'm, uh, you know, there's certain things I missed here. You know, there, there's things I haven't gotten my hands on yet. And, and I just, I, it's an accomplishment I kind of want to do, but I want to do it at my time. Just so you know. And they're like, okay, well, you know, just let us know what's going to go on. What? Just so you know, the 25th anniversary of Raw is before Raw Rumble. Okay. You could do, you could do, <laughs> definitely do both of them then. Well, yeah. Um, I'm like, wait, I think that's. And then the Monday after Raw, Roman Reigns. We all know that they're putting the universal title on him. Yeah. He's in the ring talking about how awesome he is when it's 15 minutes of him getting booed. <laughs> Batista's music hits. He comes out. He's in his suit. He just comes out to the ring and he's just like, Roman, congratulations. You know, it's great to see this. Hits him with a pop up power in the sit down, the Batista bomb. Um, yeah. <laughs> the, the Batista grabs, bomb. Grabs the mic and it's just like, you have something I want. Drops it and walks out of the ring. Steph and Triple H are like, is that? And he's like, and you see he goes from, you know, the, the previous visits where all him being happy yep. and just being like a little confused, but happy. You know, yeah. he's back where he kind of feels like he's at, he's at home, but he doesn't really know everybody else in the back yet. Uh, that night you see the, the, the more powerful and evil version of him come back out. And you're like, that's what he wants. He just wants the belt. And then you book him for to get the belt, and that'll be the high point of his one year run. Okay. Um, that's the high point. He gets it, and then he loses it, and he starts just being lashing out at everyone mm -hmm. until it gets to Triple H. Triple H is like, I got to put this dog down. And that's their match at WrestleMania. No. Batista loses, he's out. No. That's not how you do it. Yeah. No, because you gotta do is what you gotta do. Similar storyline booking. Okay. Similar, like if you want to do it after WrestleMania, something like he comes back in, let him be the heel first. Yeah, yeah. Um, because they're gonna treat Reigns as the baby face. Ex uh, that's what I, yeah. I, you know what I'm going for. Yeah. But he'll be, be he'll be cheered versus Reigns. Right. Um. Exactly. But like, here's the thing. Um, you build it in a way that when yes he gets the belt, he loses it. Um, but there's always tension. Like the whole build to get the belt, even the match for Reigns. Oh yeah, is contention with Triple H. Like you can see like these little pot, little cameos throughout you the know. year, building up to after WrestleMania. Yeah, where it's like so like you see Batista like the Hall of Fame um, induction, and you have like Shawn Michaels like saying, "Hey, when are we gonna see? When are you gonna get back in that ring?" Yeah. And Triple H is like walking over because it's just Sean Michaels asking this. Yeah. Something like that. And Triple H just happens to walk over. Like, like, he's like, he just turns to Sean and looks at Hunter and is like, when he gives me what I never got and I earned the last time I was here and just leave. You do that at the Royal Rumble or something like that. No, do that at the Rumble because it's, it's the Royal Rumble. It's like, he won the Royal Rumble. He never got his one on one match. Right. It's still, and that's the reason why he quit. Yep. Um, and it just you do that, you build that way, and you kind of just kind of circle around every time he's like, he's like, I'm not do doing it. So when he finally attacks like Reigns for the Universal Championship, it's like, oh, Triple H is giving him what he wants. You don't see them interact until they're finally getting building to like this, the first match, and you find out it's not for the title. No, it's not for the title. Not at all. Like, and he's like, wait, why is this? And like, and it really comes down to it's like, it's like. You said you weren't coming back until I gave you what you want. I never said you just attacked him thinking that would get you what you wanted. I'm not giving you what you want. He beats Reigns at that one. Cheaply, whatever, how you want to build yeah. it. Um, and then, but eventually by the time we get to SummerSlam, Batista gets what he wants. He, Triple H has no choice but to say, fine, you want your shot, your actual title shot. You got it. Finally. He wins it, not without Triple H being somehow involved. And it's clear he accidentally cost oh, yeah. Reigns the belt. And he's like, he's like, and you see him see, like, Triple H isn't happy about um, Reigns being champion. He doesn't like that either. No. But he's the younger star, and that's what he, he's more focused on versus Batista's older star. 
It's like, and you can even throw a WCW jab in there. Like, okay. we're not, like it's not like we're WCW where we relied on our older stars. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Reigns as champ is better than a 40 something year old being champ. Of course, when he was kind of even taking a dip back at himself when he yeah, was in when his, he was champ in his 40s. 40s. Um, not that long ago when he dropped it to Reigns himself. Yeah. Um, Come on. And that Triple H would, could take the, would do digs like that to himself. Yes. And it's Triple H costing Batista the belt the very, like the next month. Um, like it's straight up there. But then we feel it becomes that's a babyface turn in a sense for Batista. Oh, yeah, because Triple H screws him out of his yeah. belt. And it's becoming – and Triple H is the heel. And it's now Triple H saying – you're done. You're fired. He even fires Batista. Um, or saying, you never actually had a contract with us. I let you have it because it was entertaining to see you. Yeah, like, I, try. Thought, I thought I thought it was, you just wanted that belt. You know, something I, like that. No, something know. like, I thought once you thought once you realized you weren't going to get it, um, <laughs> you'd go away. But I decided to give you this because I was going to use it to keep, make sure you didn't get it. Yeah, but since you did, now I have to get fully active involved. You're not only you've lost it, you're fi- You're not. I didn't even get to fire you. you. Security, you remove this guy. Yeah, and becomes Batista coming that to the point where he keeps attacking Triple H. He gets eventually gets his hands on Triple H. Yep. Um, and then says, holds up Raw like kind of like the the yes movement taking over the the ring, or He's, he takes over the. Uh, the the trailer <laughs> kind of like a DX move. Yep. There you go. Um, and saying like, um, I'm taking control of this until I get what I want, and I want Hunter. And they keep saying it's something that you put establish something simpler like is we to get Hunter he has to be under contract, so they have to give him a contract. But you know, it does say he can have Hunter in the contract, but. He has to go through all these other people yes. first. So basically, from like from Survivor Series to WrestleMania, it's Hunter throwing people on his way um, to prevent him that. He actually succeeds in stopping him. But then they find, like after Royal Rumble, when he stops him, yeah, he comes up with like a loophole. He says, "I thought I, I'm a man of my word. If I lost, I would be gone, and I am." But then I, my buddy, who's a lawyer, just happened to see your con- like, see the contract, contract, and found a loophole, and it says something about like in there like, Batista has to lose fairly or something like that. Yeah. Um, if he loses by, uh, not fair measures, um, not only does he, he can't be fired, he automatically gets hunter like there's <laughs> nothing hunter can do like he can't throw more people in his way he can still throw people in his way yeah but he can't like he can't delay it anymore and it, it stipulates specifically says in the contract somehow like that he has batista has to have his match with hunter under hunter, under batista's stipulations okay because of the the, of the unfairness by the time the contract expiration Leaving WrestleMania the last day possible, which Batista says, I'm going to take that. Oh, I'm there. So, or if Triple H does not have that, he does not have his match with him, a fair one on one match. Right. Um, because I, you could build up Triple H trying to take him out now. Yeah, there there cannot be no no uh, outside interference. Oh, no, no, any, no, no. None of that stuff. So you're just like, well, how are they going to have such a clean match then? No, 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 no. Like building up to it, so he has to smash. Saying, think, Triple H's mind thing, mind frame is thinking, oh, he has to have the match. But if he's unable to compete in the match, yeah, it goes away. No, and he tries to take him out, and he's like, after a really big beatdown, like he's really hurt. He says, like, I've always seen the doctor. He said I'll be fine by WrestleMania, and I will get my match because the contract also states if I don't get my match with Hunter. Then I take his share and his wife's share of the WWE. <laughs> and, you could, and you could build it up like they own. Vince has like yeah. a good share. 
this would only from not only somehow on par with Vince, but just a slight over bit somehow over Vince. So he'd be the majority shareholder. And they now he has no choice. So they can't he's gotta stop the attack the attacks. <laughs> he can't like really try to lo- warm up lo- um loosen him up because okay. it would violate the contract. Right. And then you can have whatever stipulation you want, and then you can have Batista either get the victory and go away, or you can have Triple H get the and, and there. But uh, personally, I I would like it where you put all of this roadblock where you just keep building Batista yeah. as a as a face over and over and over again, and I want this to end with Triple H getting a clean win yeah. in the ring, and everyone's just like. Oh, Batista lost. Yeah. He's gone. Yeah. Especially and that's it. And you're just like, you built all of this up to have us literally hit a brick wall. And I can see personally, I'd be like, that was genius. Yeah. That was beautiful storytelling yeah. because you have a definitive end to oh, your story. How I would actually do it would build up as true Batista because that would be like his last run in wrestling and all that. It would be him losing. Yes. To Triple H. You know, you build it up where he's going to get his hand. And in the match, Batista beats, gives Triple H a beating. Oh, yeah. But Triple H just somehow takes advantage of a little, just a fraction of a mistake yeah. by Batista and wins. No, it's not like it's not like it's a, 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 an accidental win. No, 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 he no. Takes it and he gets a beat down, and then he you know, actually just yeah. gets the upper hand at the last second. Yep, and then wins. Right. Um. So that that's there. I don't know how we're doing. We just went on to like a, been like twenty minutes of booking this thing, and yeah, we're that's doing that awesome. We're doing that later if we have time. Yeah. For something else. All right. I got one. Uh, I got a couple more things. Um. So, do you like your superstars getting fired? I love it when. A cer- if a certain superstar got fired, not the superstar you think I'm thinking of, Roman Reigns. Oh, yeah, that's who I was thinking of. Oh, they were talking about Sami Zayn and uh, no, Owens. no, so no. I want them to get fired too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, it is rumored that uh, well, not rumored. It has been set that at the next Clash, of, Clash Champions. of Champions, where only champions will be defending their belt so it's not really champions clashing with other champions it's kind of like survivor series yeah which should have been about team surviving through Mm. matches but you know what whatever yay booking creativity (laughs) i know uh anyway no the the match stipulation is it's uh sammy zane versus nope it's uh it's oh sammy and sammy zane versus randy orton versus nakamura now, with if Sammy McMahon. and Kevin lose yep. with, oh yeah, with Shane, Shane the McMahon. greatest professional wrestler in all of existence right now. Roman Reigns? No, Shane. Oh, he's the second greatest. Oh, he's the second because greatest. Because remember, Vince McMahon. Yes. Even Roman though Shane, even though Reigns. Shane, even though Shane is his genetic offspring, Roman Reigns <laughs> is the, the son. It's the son that Vince McMahon wish he had. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, and Shane is the special guest referee. Yes. If Sammy and Kevin lose, they're fired. They just go to Raw. Yeah, I know. I know exactly, which totally could happen. No, they can't. They can't because the stipulation says not fired from SmackDown, but fired from the WWE entirely. Okay, that's the stipulation. Now, the more I'm looking at the dynamic of the Kevin Owens Shane McMahon ongoing feud. Mm-hmm. The more I've realized that Shane McMahon is the asshole in this situation. Of course he is. And Kevin is actually the good guy in this situation. Of course. Shane's a McMahon. Of course he's going to be the asshole. Okay. But on TV, they're presented as Shane being the nice guy. Oh, no. And Kevin's the heel. Look at every single feud that, other than Undertaker and Shane at at WrestleMania, um, Shane has basically been the asshole. I, His feud with AJ? I know. He was an asshole. Yeah. Um, yes, AJ acting more like an asshole. Well, <laughs> I yeah, I know. That, but that's... It's like they don't understand how to book Shane story-wise yeah. to be the powerful person on the show and yet be sympathetic at the same time. I know. They're just like, hey, you book people in an assholish way... And then yell at them for not doing what you want them to. 
because they're pissed off at the way you booked them like an asshole. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I don't... You're the asshole in this situation. I know. Uh, which is just funny. Because um, that's, again, there's like rumors of what is Shane's booking and be for WrestleMania. Um, Triple H is a possibility based on the fi- Survivor Series um, finale. Or based upon the Survivor Series finale, it could be Braun Strowman, mm-hmm. uh, Shane McMahon, oh, or Kurt Angle. For Triple H. I know. For Triple H. But two of those options become possible bookings for Shane. I know. And Triple H or Kurt Angle. <laughs> exactly. Uh, and we, like, we already just covered Batista. You know who's a potential... Um, um, p- opponent for Batista outside of Triple H. If Shane? They, if they bring him back? No. Goldberg. They thought, <laughs> what? Because mm, apparently they're thinking about bringing him back for another match. Who has been keeping in shape, by the way. I don't care. So, anyway. Why would you? Like, I'm sorry. Goldberg and Brock Lesnar was kind of a cool pairing after yeah. a number of years. Goldberg and Batista, not so much. It'd be interesting, but it it would be. What's the point of bringing Batista back if you're not going to put him in with someone who can get a rub? Yeah, even if the, that person's losing. Exactly, which the person would have to do. It, it, but, at least at the very beginning. Yeah, but anyway, back to that. Uh, saying, yeah, he is the asshole in this. Which is the funny thing is because apparently this week, because I didn't watch any of the like little highlights, but apparently they teased a uh, Daniel Bryan heel turn. Yes. So which is weird because if. Because we all know that the heels in this situation are Kevin, Kevin and Sammy. Yep. Which means that Daniel Bryan would be helping them. Yes. Which means that he'd actually be helping the underdogs, a.k.a. the faces, yeah. of this situation. Yep. So his, it wouldn't be a heel turn. No. But and here's the thing. If they did go do go with this heel turn, okay. we're risking the backfiring of what they're doing and actually turn Sammy... And Kevin, babyface. That's what's happening. But no, 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 no. I'm saying we know they're. And when you look at the logically, they are the babyfaces. But no, with Brian oh, Ryan turning, timing, tying them in with Ryan, with with Brian could actually the turn could actually turn them babyfaces, Shane heel, and but in the fans' eyes because that would it's be Daniel awesome. Bryan, it would be because it's Daniel Bryan. Yeah, you're going to do a lot to pit. No. Brian would have to do a lot to get the fans to actually boo him. I'd rather him, you know, half turn Sammy and Kevin face. Yeah. Because a McMahon is a McMahon. I don't care how often they are. They're always going to be the heels. Yes. It mm-hmm. doesn't matter. In the end, they're going to be Shane, just accept that you're supposed to be a heel. You can be the heel like The Rock is. A nice guy that everyone wants to hang out with. But you're still a heel. Yeah. You're still a Just dick. accept it. You're still a dick. Exactly. You're still going to book somebody who's pissing you off against the monster on your show because you want to punish them. Yep. So it'll be interesting to see it's what... It's in your DNA! It'll be interesting to see how they go about doing this. Yes. Because uh, while it'll be another kind of saving grace moment, we'll actually see this one coming a little bit more than we saw Sammy's out of nowhere. Right. Though when you go back and look at some of the stuff that happened backstage and all that, it actually they kind of they kind of hinted at it. Not yeah. that much. No, 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 no. It, it was it was it was meant to be a surprise, and it was a surprise. Wh- and it one worked. of those that you look back and you're like, oh, why didn't I catch that? There were some teases, um, but it wasn't anything serious. No, or this one, we're actually recognizing a potential one. Right. So it'll be interesting to see for that. Uh, but who knows? I mean, it wouldn't be that big of a spoiler. Um. The one thing I do want it at WrestleMania. Yes. At WrestleMania. What, 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 what do you at want? Royal Rumble. At Rumble. Okay. I do want a Nakamura, Sami Zayn, one-on-one. Oh, my God. That would be awesome. And not just do I want that. I want them to top their NXT TakeOver match. And I want someone to pronounce it hell of a kick. Hell of a kick? Haluva kick. Fuck off. <laughs> it's Haluva kick. That bothers me every time. Oh, by the way, fuck the elf. I don't know why we needed to do that. Oh, wait. Because <laughs> fuck the owl. Yes. <laughs> it's a lone statement on itself. We, yeah. Oh, speaking of, of impact, just for a second. Shit. I was trying not to. I know, but it just something I listened to um, a few days ago. Okay. I had to make a comment on this. I didn't put it on, I would have put it on the list if I remembered it. Okay. Uh, now they are officially a Canadian company. With a bunch of talent leaving, 
their uh, plans for 2018 is them planning on relying on local talent from Canada that no one has ever heard of. So, I mean, <laughs> outside of Stampede Wrestling, I don't know of any other Canadian... They have brands or a, a promotions, but they have we them. know that there's that there's yeah. always brands going on. Yeah, but like they're going to local Cana- Canadian talent. They haven't had a, a Canadian big leagues. But here's the thing: there's a reason why, because the people who work in uh, Canada use it as their starting ground to go somewhere else to go Japan. to the Mexico, Japan, 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 Europe, Europe, the U.S., WWE. Was originally, but now with Ring of Honor bigger. Yeah. Some of these smaller indie promotions are getting, you can make money off here in the States. They come here. Merchandising. It's, it's all about the merchandising. Here's the reason why. Because we actually have a thriving independent scene in our country where you have really small promotions. Maybe it's bigger up there than I think it is. But yeah. It's nowhere to the level of what you have in the United States. Or we would have heard about it here in the States. Yeah. Uh, so, well, I, yes, getting some jobbers or some newer talent you see some potential in and using them to kind of become some more your homegrown talent a little bit there, yeah fine but relying on them no <laughs> you're asking yourself you're not gonna be able to maintain what you are your range are gonna drop automatically yeah, they're gonna be like hey you don't recognize anybody up here anymore so have fun and i get it you it's gonna cost money to bring in your talent to canada but that's <laughs> why did you move, move it to, to Canada, Canada in exactly. the first place then? So, but anyway, I thought I just had to throw that out there. <laughs> yeah, I, but fuck them. Maybe hey, maybe if they actually do, there's rumors of them actually, uh, Sammy and Kevin actually getting released, and Kevin's from Canada. Yeah. So maybe maybe you can get him to come oh, to your your. Both stupid of them show. are gonna go right up there. Yeah. They, they're. That's gonna be the big signing. That'll be the big signing, and Kevin Owens like he'll walk in as Kevin Sheen. Oh, and he'll be like Kevin Steen. Steen, Steen Sheen. Okay. No, Steen is the Indies. Sheen will be Canon. It will be, be with TNA. Will be in T- with Impact. Ah, okay. And he's gonna walk in. He's like, yeah, I got fired. And this is the place you go when you get fired from the other place. Looks around. Fuck that. I quit and leave. <laughs> no, 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 no. He pulls a Lex Luger. <laughs> he comes, instead of at the mall, he comes out and he's standing in an awkward spot. <laughs> and the camera just gets on him. And whoever's in the ring just bra- stops fighting and like looks at him. But that's it. <laughs> <laughs> and he never, he's never seen again in Impact again. <laughs> again. Rumors go flying. And he's just like, I was actually just there. I got lost. I was, I was in the building. I was in the building because I had some friends back there, and I was going out to, to going out there just to watch, see something in the match because it was looking good, and the camera caught me. Yeah, I'm not signing with them. I, no, I, I don't not even talk. They asked me when I was in the back there, and I said, "Fuck you," to them. <laughs> they would be. They would have, if this was the States, they would have told me to leave the building, but it's Canada. They can't do they, that. They asked nicely. I said no. no and they said, okay. <laughs> they were like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Thanks for being polite about it, though. Yeah. So, uh, but it'll be interesting to see what happens at Clash of Champions. Yeah. Where the story goes with this. I don't know. <laughs> for as much heat as apparently these two or did have, they are in a prominent storyline. I know. It may not be where Kevin Owens or Sabi Zane want to be. That's why. But it's still, you, it's I, better than being. What Sammy was doing a few just a few months ago and just random stuff. Yeah. I really think that all of this backstage heat yep. has been story. It could be. It's all been a work. It could be. Which would be hilarious. Yeah. T- Twitter messages like that. <laughs> all that means that they figured out how to use kayfabe when kayfabe has been broken. Kayfabe is dead. Or is it? Dun, dun, dun. If you say kayfabe, kayfabe is a just been awoken, I'm gonna smack you. Nope. Uh, and what's next on your the list? The alarm did go off. <laughs> you got something on your hey. glasses? Oh no 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 no! <sighs> yeah, you hey, at least that. It, you know it wasn't as bad as Owen's hit. <laughs> All right. Wow. We're got going one there. more thing. Ronda Rousey. Uh, she's 
close to signing a deal with the WWE. According to the Wrestling um, Illustrator and Dave Metzer. Yes. It's not even... Isn't it Observer? Observer, yeah. Illustrator. It's just a dude sitting by the ringside drawing. Yeah. <laughs> He's uh, like, can you guys hold still for a little bit longer? Yeah, yeah come on. Come on. Hold that pose. <laughs> hold it. <laughs> they're like, they break up. They're like, who the hell are you? He's like, I'm the wrestling yeah. illustrator. <laughs> I think there's actually a, a, a website or something called the Illustrator. I don't know. But Illustrated. Wrestling Observer. Illustrated, yeah. yeah. Uh, Observer, yeah, I think that's what that is. Um, it's not, they're not in um, just negotiations with her. Okay. They're in finalization mode. See, Okay, a while ago, we it was reported that she was going to the performance center in training. Yep. I truly think that there was some kind of deal, some kind of contract signed at that point that guaranteed her a spot at WrestleMania, but part of it, there was a condition that for her to actually sign a full contract, yep. you know, a, a talent contract yep. instead of a guest contract, yeah. was dependent on how well she was training. No, I don't think that's a deal. I uh, because I think there was what probably happened was during the May Young Classic, she was there to support during the filming to support her friend Shana Blazer. Uh-huh. Uh huh. So at that time, they said they were probably already in rudimentary discussions or saying, "Hey, well, she was going to be there," and they said, "When are we? When are like Triple H probably came up and said, when are we going to get you over here? When are you going to step in the ring? Yeah, we know you want to." And she's like. Well, <laughs> and that's when they did the, the little um, back and forth with the th- three of the horsewomen and the four horsewomen. Um, when Shannon Blazer, they did a three on um, two interview with, with yep. them. Yep. With that as teases. This was all part of like we're in negotiations. Um, so do you think it's it, going to be Charlotte? It was kind of one of those things where it was like they were – Teasing this as part of negotiations to see how people engage this because they felt big money there. Oh yeah, and there is. Oh yeah. Um, but they wanted to see how the fans were going to react to it as well. I mean, there's no doubt they were, we're kind of thirsty for it. it. And how the fans reacted would kind of be like how much, how good of a deal do they go with Ronda? Yeah. In terms of it, the reaction is we want it. Oh God, yeah! It was like to the point where they were thinking about doing a Survivor Series. I'm glad they pushed uh, off into yeah. WrestleMania. Yeah, because originally, the, I guess the plans were four horsewomen at Survivor Series, Charlotte and Ronda at WrestleMania. So yeah, no, just we'll get the Charlotte yeah. and Ronda at WrestleMania, and then build the four horsewomen out of that. No, 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 no. No, they're actually looking at the four horsewomen at WrestleMania. And if they're going to do shot, um, Charlotte and Ronda, it'll be at a different time. SummerSlam. Slam. Slam. <laughs> Somewhere like that. I like, if you're not doing it at WrestleMania, you're probably doing yeah. it at, Re- at SummerSlam. Yeah. So th- that's the thing. But they're in it. So the rate is that they're in final talk, like final negotiations. Like they're, they're just tweaking things. Nice. Little things here. Maybe dates. It's just, this could be a, a one-off thing. We're going to do a bunch of dates building to the four horsewomen. Yeah. At WrestleMania. I- that's it, and then maybe see if what they go from there, or maybe it's a, to build to Charlotte at SummerSlam going forward, and that's it. It just could be one off. We don't know. We won't know until she shows up and like, oh, I'm I'm here now, and yeah, you find I don't, out. I don't know if you, I don't know if you'd go through all of this just to do a one off. They did that with Goldberg. I'm gonna say yes. Well, you know. It's Goldberg. The man sometimes after five minutes gets really sweaty and starts breathing really, really hard. But they did it with Goldberg in his 40s, 50s. I, you know, maybe it's because Goldberg doesn't have the stamina but the a thing young is, but the, strapping man has. But the thing is, they did it with him last year. And Ronda's reputation is bigger. Yeah, I know, I know. Overall, not in wrestling, but overall. Which means why wouldn't they would that means they would definitely do a one off. I, I think that there's there's going to be a story there. Oh, I and think it's gonna be more than one. Oh, so do I, but we don't know until the deals come out it comes There'll out. Be, you gotta definitely do it as three peak stories. And we'll see what happens but, going forward. But it'll be it's definitely a match to look forward to if they do. It'll be cool. So it'll be cool. We have enough time to do it, don't you think? Uh all right. All right. 
All right. So, so last so last week or Monday when we recorded. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I posed a topic, and assuming I remember it coming in, and to us book the Royal Rumble, how we would ah. see it, who who we would pick to win it, how would they would go about winning it, how we tease it, and all that. And Hornswoggle wins everything, comes in first. Um, and knocks Ro- Roman Reigns out within the first 30 seconds of oh, the no, Royal Rumble. He, he keeps, he's actually so small that every time someone goes to take him out. No, no, no. I'm talking about Hornswoggle only it's Reigns in the first 30 seconds of the Rumble. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. yeah. But like, the goal thing was to build that. By holding his pinky. Yes. Um, to see who's book it and then have our three fans. Is it three or did we lose one this week? No, no, no. We're up to five. Oh, it's five. Okay, so yeah. our five fans to um, pick which one was better. I said fuck that when I came in today. I have I, a better idea. I didn't remember anything. I didn't even think about it. <laughs> and this morning I came up with a better one. Okay. We're going to book Asuka's first loss. Okay. How, how do we All build right. up to it? How do we make it so it doesn't hurt her like we're... Goldberg's first loss just screwed him over. Okay. Um, who gets the rub? Okay. So, who wants to go first? Um, you know what? I'm going to go first. Okay, because I still haven't decided between my two picks yet. Okay. And we've, I've had an hour. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's going to be Paige. Okay. One of my picks. Yes. Um, and and it's not going to be done your, sta- your standard, you know, Paige just... You know, marches up to uh, to Oscar and challengers or no, nothing like that. Okay. Um, Oscar wins the championship from Alexa. Alexa. Okay. So you got the belt on her. Um, Paige wins a royal a number one contenders match. Battle Royal, maybe something so, smaller, like yeah. The Royal Rumble, but just not you a full out Battle Royal may, Rumble or something. Maybe it's a a fatal four way. Yeah. You know something. You know, six pack challenge. Who knows? <laughs> it's just something like that. I haven't seen those in a while. I know, uh, but she wins. Okay, ekes out that win. Now she's got her two buddies with her. She comes out and she's like, "Yeah, I get to challenge for the title." You know, I get. I'm going to defeat Oscar. Oscar's like, "You're going to defeat me." No, 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 no. Just completely, you know, dismisses Paige over and over again. Promo after promo after promo. Uh, finally, Paige and her friends trap Asuka, beat her down. And I mean, it's one of those that like, you're like, Ooh, Asuka got beat up, but you know, Asuka finally goes, all right, I'll accept your challenge. They, they have their match at the, whatever pay-per-view backlash, you know? Oh, so this is not a WrestleMania. No, no, okay. it's not. This is at some uh, some other one, and it's just like you know what you won your your challenge. I'll I'll accept your challenge, and Paige beats her. Okay, and everyone's really stunned. Like it just Paige beats her clean. Like no one understands it. It's the one two three kid beating Razor Ramon. Okay, you're like, where did this come from? Paige just pulls it out, grabs the belt, gets the heck out of there. Asuka has her rematch clause. The next pay-per-view. Paige wins cleanly. Ooh. And this is actually one where, you know, Asuka seems to be in control, but something happens. Paige wins. No interference. No interference. It's Nothing's just, dirty. No, it's just Asuka screws up one thing. Paige dodges at the right moment. Just one of those small moments where the entire shift just happens. And you're like... Oh, oh my God, that happened. Oscar, you know, doesn't get this. Paige loses the belt. Then there's a little down the line. There's a triple threat match. Oscar, Paige, and the current champion. Okay. Paige beats Oscar to win. Oscar's still destroying everyone else, and you're just like, does Paige just have Oscar's number? And that's how it works. That Paige just. Ha- Asuka can't beat Paige until the next WrestleMania. Asuka gets her win over Paige, and it bothers her that Paige has gotten three wins on her. So we're neglecting the whole, the third one's the charm? Yeah. Good, because I hate that thing. No, no, no. Like, 
And that's going into that third one. You're like, this is where Asuka gets her win. She get, you know, she gets to that's- beat Paige. And Paige wins again. And everyone's just like, we're stunned. Yeah. Paige. Paige won clean all three times. One of them's a submission. Like, Ooh. you're just like, where did this one come out from? Maybe that's the third one. Okay. That would be weird. <laughs> because it's enough of a twist yeah. while still giving Paige, you know, the push. Yeah. Uh, and you can continue to have Oscar be strong by defeating everyone else. And you're just like, but she doesn't get the win over Paige until the next WrestleMania. Okay. And then it's huge because she gets the belt back by doing it. Okay. See, one of my two picks for this for the booking is was Paige was one of them. Yes. My other one is someone I feel has slipped some since her last um, women's reign. Bailey. No. Uh, you think so, Sasha? No. Someone who's not Alicia Fox. <laughs> She's never been a women's champion. She's been a divas champion. Uh, Becky Lynch. Yes. Oh, okay. Someone not on Raw. Oh. Oh. I was going to go with Paige, but then I was like, no. Paige has a good storyline going right now. Becky hasn't really had much of a story since she's lost the title. Okay. Um, going on a year now. So here's my build. When Becky comes back from... Uh, her filming her movie with okay. the Miz and Shawn Michaels, The Marine Six. Yes, she's in that movie. It's, in, it's the sixth Marine movie. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. Yep. Uh, By the way, what's an Irish Irish lass doing as part of this Marine series? She's a victim, not an actual Marine. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's so. special. <laughs> So she's like, Sean, it's wonderful that you could come and save me. You too, Miz. Uh, here's hoping that they keep her. That's her a accent. terrible. That is a terrible accent. I'm so sorry. I still hope she keeps her accent in the movie because I, same, same here. My theory is that she'll do an American accent for it. It'll be good, and um, she'll come They'll back ask and her to always have the <laughs> American like, accent. You're not doing that accent anymore. You're not. You're gonna be a complete un-American, even though you're Irish. Very. Irish. And, and that will be because Kevin Dunn's right to he's like, no more. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to have somebody else dub your lines. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she just comes out there, just moves her jaw. And then she, <laughs> she, gets, she gets bored of it. So she starts moving her jaw like randomly. Yep. And it's like making, saying words that she's not actually saying. It's oh, like, no. It, it eventually just kind of, she accept, She just goes with the animatronic jaw where it just opens and closes and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So anyway, her push to defeating Asuka will come start with her when she comes back from filming this movie. Okay. There's no, like, no one really knows if she was actually fully written off <laughs> SmackDown um, by the... Uh, Riot Squad attack. More than likely, she probably was, but according to Sean Michaels, they have like three more weeks of filming and then they're done. Oh, okay. So this was like a, sh- a short shoot. That is a short shoot. It was like five weeks for a Marine movie, a home direct the home movie. Oh, yeah. I expect nothing more. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Hey, um, uh, so I can see the Miz being like, all right, what's my motivation in this scene? And they're like, we're blowing shit up. Okay. He's like, so I run that way. So, like, why didn't you hire Tom Cruise to do that? He runs in everything. And they're like, well, you're not going to run so much as be blown forward by an explosion. He's like, so I'm awesome. All right. So I'm being awesome in this. Let's do this. It's awesome. So, I mean, you think about it this way. Um, these shoots have to be short because when Dean Ambrose went and did 12 rounds two, he was gone for four 12 weeks. Rounds two, 12 rounds two. 12 rounds two. The Marine, that's not this movie. <laughs> no. Well, that's what, when he did hit the shot that. Wait, wait, not the Marine. <laughs> yeah. When he did that movie, he was gone for a month. Mm-hmm. So it was like. Yeah, it's so, so weird that they do these movies on such a short. Because what do you do for reshoots? I'm sure they have, re- they have a built in. Because um, every movie has a reshoot these days. Yes. When people say, oh, no, they have massive reshoots. Every Star Wars movie has had massive reshoots. Well, Every Marvel film has had a massive reshoot. So there's All a in... difference between scheduled reshoots, yeah. 
where you do you schedule you know it's like all right for 21 days we're filming uh then we have a month off and then you're back and you're expected to be on set we may not be using you but you're expected to be back on set for the two week for another two weeks no it's the, the it's reshoots not, past that no it's not that yeah when you say even when you hear like um they're going back justice for, league when they're going no because that, that kind of suicide sucks. squad where they basically had to remake the entire movie yeah that one was bad that's bad um but for justice league that was just a typical uh um thing they didn't cgi'd out a mustache yeah when you get when you start hearing when you start hearing things like they're going back for a second time of reshoots not just one they've already done reshoots but they have to do more yes there's issues yeah or like with world war z they had to refilm the entire third act because they felt like the the anti the super over the anti-climatic anti-climatic climatic scene was too much after a really action-packed um, middle of the movie scene it just wasn't working so they wanted to do a tighter less dramatic scene I don't All know right. anyway um, yeah they probably built it in but anyway so we're going to base it on she was written off of TV okay and this is actually going to be kind of a building more of a Becky Lynch versus an Asuka because Asuka's already built the streak's there but it will continue her dominance starting to go through people like Sasha Charlotte <laughs> Right. Um, Paige. Um, nope. She's not going through Paige. I already <laughs> booked that. <laughs> She's just going to... In, in your universe, she avoids Paige. Probably. I, and like, if I had to flesh it out, if I started to really flesh it out in great detail, I'd have her go with Paige. Um, probably at some point. But it'd be more like she ekes out the victory. Okay. Um, it wouldn't be like... A, like She's going to destroy Sasha. She's going to destroy oh, yeah. Charlotte. Yep. She's going to point out... And she she kinda, gets a definite win over Charlotte. Yeah, because like, these things will be like, well, she kind of got the victory by luck. Yeah. Um, if you do a no, series, if I did a series, maybe Charlotte, uh, the the uh, absolution f- faction acts cost Paige something. I mean, I wouldn't, that's, that's when you start doing that stuff when you're about to break them up. Yeah. It's, it's too new. We're going for like this year. Okay. I agree with you where the this loss can't be at um, one of the big four. No. Um, I would be okay at Money in the Bank because while it's going to be a joint pay-per-view this year, um, it's not considered necessarily a big four. Like a, it may, may start building it towards that to make it the big five like the King of the Ring. Yeah. But the King of the Ring was always treated more as a – it was a big pay-per-view, but it was never as big as the other four. Right. Right. It was, it was a bigger pay-per-view than the monthly pay, normal monthly pay-per-views. So go back to that night. Yeah. So it could happen on that. It just doesn't have to happen at one of the big four. But, but, the way I always looked at King of the Ring, it was it was the kickoff to the summer. Yeah. It was just like, no, no, this is your King of the Ring, and your King of the Ring is going to be you know ruling the beach at SummerSlam. Yeah. And you're like, okay, well, that makes sense. Yeah. And that would work with, uh, instead of the King of the Ring, the money in the bank is a, yeah. a good thing. Uh, so there. I'd probably do it in July. Um, the oh. loss would come in July. Oh, yeah. Okay. For Asuka. Okay. For Asuka. And first off, Becky would stay on SmackDown when she came back. She wouldn't jump over to the brands. Um, she would start getting on a winning streak. She wouldn't take the belt. Okay. Nope, we're not doing that thing. The belt's not even going to be involved in this. Um, she's just getting wins. She's just getting wins. Um, and then comes the superstar shakeup, a- v- a.k.a. in my universe, the draft, because I would call it a draft. It- should be a yearly draft where you can be drafted to one show or the other. And some people are eligible for the draft. And there's other people who are not eligible for the draft. And sometimes there are trades that happen. Yeah. Therefore you make an actual drama out of the thing. Yeah. But so she's starting to get wins. She gets a good win at maybe at the kickoff show at WrestleMania. Okay. Uh, oh, cause we're doing the, if we were doing the four horsewomen. Let's say the four horsewomen thing happens. Yeah. They, the four know. horsewomen of WWE win. Probably wouldn't happen. No. Uh, but just, just for the hell of it. Okay. Um, to help build Becky. Then she gets traded to Raw as part of the shakeup, draft, whatever you want to fucking call it. And she gets a win right off the bat. But then she kind of starts going back and forth, wins and losses. And she actually starts getting a little few more losses now. And you say, why would you do this to build up, build her up? Maybe she's going to take the win. We'll get there. 
yeah, why would you do this? Well, see, I'm gonna get there. <laughs> You're like, because, wait and see. Because they, one of the things they can't, she can't, we constantly tease, they constantly tease for the women's team was uh, Becky Lynch says, I'm gonna break your arm off, Asuka. And we never got to see them even touch each other. Oh, okay. In that match. So we're, I'm, that's why I'm, I went with Becky Lynch overall, over Paige. Because we didn't see anything with them. So uh-huh. I'm you know, kind of paying that off. We didn't see something because we're building something more. Like that's going to happen in WWE. But so, Payoff? I know. What? So, if it's not the main event, there's no payoff for anybody. So, and even at the main event, there's no payoff for anybody. So Asuka is... Building. She hasn't won the belt, by the way. Asuka's okay. not the champion. All she right. were built as, as like, the way her the storylines look like. These two are not going to be anywhere near each other. They're not. Okay. Uh, there's little things that point to it, but it's like one of those things. Like, no, Becky's basically just doing what she was doing. She got some wins. She was there, and then now she's back to what she was kind of doing on SmackDown before she left for the film, the movie. A win here, loss there, some yeah. stuff, but nothing really important. Well, Asuka, she's building steam. Destination, SummerSlam, winning the women's championship is like what it looks like. Well, after like Money in the Bank, we have like a Asuka has a match. Let's say Paige. We'll go with Paige for a second, for this. Okay. Um, a one on one match. This is where Asuka ekes out the victory. The riot, not the riot squad, the <laughs> absolution <laughs> attacks, beats down Asuka, and leaves her. So the next week, it's a tag match. Um, Oscar actually takes out one. It's supposed to be a six, uh, th- uh, triple threat, uh, six way. Yeah, but Oscar gets to one of them and takes her out. So to now it has to be a tag team. But Oscar doesn't have none of her opponent. Her tag, her partners are there. Yeah, and when she comes out, she still doesn't know one has her tag partner. Who comes out? Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch, <laughs> and. She's like, Oscar's like, uh, I don't want you. And, she, and Becky's like, why? Um, you can even build it like uh, Becky volunteers. Yeah. I'm like, I don't want you. Like, the way you're, you're not gonna help me out. I can take them on my own. That's how confident. Like, yeah, Asuka but this is gone. a tag team match. You need to have another person out there. So, yeah. so I'm coming out there with you. Something like that. <laughs> Still bad. I know it's absolutely terrible. So you're building towards this, like. Then she, when she Oscar comes out, Becky doesn't come out with her. Like, you know, the match starts, Becky eventually comes out. Well, because Becky was just fired. So now she's like, well, Kevin Dunn, to, Kevin Dunn told me to come out here. Okay, Someone, I'm sorry like, about that. They send her out there, so she's there. Uh, Oscar, we resent- Like, she keeps keep looking to the back, and there's, like, you just see somebody's hands being, like, waving her. Go out there! <laughs> Triple H is standing at the top of the ramp, and he's like, No! You go out there. <laughs> so, um, Asuka refuses to make the tag, though. Like, she won't make the tag. Cause, right. Uh, if Asuka, if Becky gets in there, she'll get lo- she'll lose, and it counts against her. Yeah. Even though she may end up taking the pinfall, she's still lost. Yeah. And if she loses, it's going to be because she was beaten herself. She would not lose on her own versus having someone else take the loss and cost her. her right. Streak. So... But Becky then she tags herself in, and then she get beats down uh, to pay back for this. Is Oscar then she tags herself back after she recovers, and gets the win. So Oscar still gets the win. Um, uh, maybe Paige, maybe it's the t- tag partner, probably the tag partner. Yeah, to keep Paige going, and then it's just like, um, that there. So we get this dynamic like they kind of have the ads. And Becky's celebrating, but she's like, "You, we won. That's all that matters." And I was like, and then Oscar goes like, goes to shake her hand, like offers her hand. Yeah. Oscar walks off. The following week, Becky challenges Oscar for a match, saying she was disrespected her with the way she yeah. said in the back. And then when I came out and helped her, and the reason why she got the win was because if she. Because I helped rest. you with this. Because I came out and gave you the rest so you could then cheaply tag me yourself back in and you got the win. And Asuka says, Nope. You're not on my level. You you gotta yeah, win. Refuses because, it. Refuses it. And then something happens. They Asuka will have a match. Becky will have a match. Gets his own loses to Paige. So the loss thing continues. 
Oscar's going to win that night. And then we get to... Okay. Because uh, I, I have something that can lead to their match directly. Oh, I'm building through it right now. All right, all right. So the following week, after this, we go to the next week, and we have another tag match. This time, it's official. Becky is Oscar's opponent, uh, partner. Okay. They come out together. They actually seem to work together well. Um, something, I don't know, you don't like, you wonder why. Oscar actually tags her in. She's like, but then we start to see these, again, the... Sudden tags, oh, I, the 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 sudden hard tags, yeah. and it's just, it's just like they keep tagging each other in when they're not ready to get out. Yeah, and they don't need to get out, but they kind of there again. Oscar's the victory. Becky comes in happy to win, raises her hand. Oscar kind of pulls her hand free, but there, and then because there, Becky's like this. Uh, they kind of celebrate, and then all of a sudden, Oscar turns around and Becky just drills her with like a sidekick, not drops her. Takes her arm, locks her into the this arm this armor, and just like squeezes and it's just like, um, and it, you see a thing that makes it kind of look like Oscar actually is tapping. She's not, but the way it's the angle, and you kind of have to pick a specific angle. Yeah, that it looks like she's tapping, but you can't really tell that she is. Um, or you could even have it, she's tapping in a sense, but she's she, she's trying to get to the rope or something. It yeah, looks like it's a she, tap. She's doing that reach. Yeah, but it's kind of like hitting the map. But but, if, like, but from the back, it looks like she's tapped. Yeah. Uh, and then you, the next week, you actually show no, I wasn't. She wasn't tapping. She was reaching for the rope, and she just couldn't get to it. Yeah. So she wasn't tapping. This goes there. Um. Again, Becky, after Oscar's match, refuse still won't wrestle her. Becky attacks her. Lays her out. Doesn't put her in the armbar. Just takes her out. Yep. Saying, you will deal with me. And when I do, I'm going to break your arm. Um, this is kind of a Becky heel turn in the same way. Because <gasps> I've been wanting this for a long time myself. Uh, the crazy redhead goes crazy? Yes. Yes. And she lets the Irish fight come out of her. Like fit thinly. Like, like Connor, Connor McGregor. Yes. Like, and... The following week, we're building up the last week before the pay per view. Like we're building up to that. Still no official match. Um, when uh, Asuka has a match, doesn't even address Becky. Becky attacks her again, but she's ready this time. Becky gets the upper hand. Okay. Maybe some underhanded tactics to get it um, early in the show. But by the end of the show, Becky's in the back asking for a match from Angle. And he's like, Asuka's earned her right to pick her opponents. She has to agree. Like, you get that immediately, almost immediately after the attack in the ring. But An later, unsanctioned street fight. Nope. <laughs> We're not even... Nope. No. But near the, this is like happens in the first hour. Okay. The attack. Asuka's first win. Uh, their attack. Maybe we, we in the beginning of the second hour. We see Becky asking for it. Getting turned down by Angle. And then in the final of the third hour. In the middle of the third hour. Becky's like, talk, like maybe he's having comments with Charlotte, not Charlotte, with Shasha and Bailey saying, "Why are you doing this?" Like he's like, oh, and she points out to like, "You girls may have lost her because you're soft. You've lost something that made you special in NXT. I know I, and you won't acknowledge it. I have. I'm doing something about it, and my overcoming it is by defeating the people you all lost to." All right. They kind of walk off, and she's kind of walking towards back. It looks like she's like leaving for the night. Asuka attacks her from behind, lays her out. Like this is just not like a puppy down. She beats her down, tosses her around. Security has to pull her off. She breaks free, goes to her, and they try to pull her off. And she's like, she just leans down and says, "You want Asuka? You got Asuka, but just remember." You're not ready for Asuka. Something along that lines. Raw cuts to black. And then she walks off. So we had the match at the pay-per-view. And this is a hard-hitting fight. Oh, this yeah. This is a 25-minute match. Okay. Uh, I mean, you're crazy gonna, for this one. But we get it. We're getting right. an NXT-level match of Asuka's from there. If okay. She had, if basically, if you had the four horsewomen and Asuka at NXT when they were there, she was there. Like, they're giving time. And it's brutal. 
be the, I mean, Becky gets a lot of fun. Asuka comes back, like, we see her, why she's so dominant. And Asuka goes through the kick, hits it, her, the Asuka kick, hits it. One, two, kick out. Becky kicks out. Uh, she goes for it again, hits it again later, uh, a few minutes later. Again, kick out. Goes for the Asuka lock, gets it in. Back in middle of the ring. And it looks like she's fading. And then she just forces off, rolls. Looks like maybe she may even hurt her arm with the way she rolls or something like that. Okay. But she gets it, gets to the rope. She's holding her arm or something like that. Like, ah, like, 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 the rest, oh, like, this hurts. Like she well, got, she's like she's like the, can she continue because way makes you roll or something like that. Ref, you know, I love my mommy. Oscar just throw, throws the ref out. The ref wants to disqualify, her, but Becky says no. Oscar is more offense, but then um, goes for the Oscar kick again. Becky shoves her, ducks it, shoves her into the turn the turnbuckle. It's still the padding's there. It's yep. not like it's a cheap thing. There's nothing cheap about this. Shifts it into it, grabs her. Hits like maybe a new move, like like the backstabber, like Char- like Sasha does for the bank statement. Okay, something like that from behind, maybe like a zigzag or something like that, and then grab, and then turns it immediately into this armor, r- right next to the ropes. Like she's almost at the ropes. Like Oscar could tap to yeah. reach the ropes, and she just leans she's back, and Oscar like gets the ropes, and then Becky is forced to break. Oscar comes in, gets a little offense again. Goes through the Oscar kick. Becky ducks it, rolls her up, but doesn't. It looks like the ref goes one, but uh, Bailey just grabs her arm and then reaches back in the middle of the ring and just cranks it. And Oscar's like screaming, and she's like, and then just panic, a panic tap out. Becky is defeated. Oscar in the middle of the ring, clean. All right. All right. This was then set up. I like how both of us are in a, in the middle of the ring, clean. And this is set up to a triple threat match for the women's Raw women's locker room um, women's championship at SummerSlam between the current champion Oscar and Becky. Becky winning again, kind of doing a similar thing like you did. Oh, okay. Be- Becky is Oscar's um uh, yeah. wall. Like, be- and it's not because she's always been that. She has like. Kind of acknowledging the NXT issue, yeah, in a sense that NXT they've been good down there. But somehow they come in here, they just seem something to falls apart. apart, and it becomes a storyline you could use for uh, for Sasha and, and, and Bailey. And Oscar was the one that didn't that yeah. it didn't happen to. Yeah, and Becky realized this and saw figured out why it was. Um, it's because creative is a real asshole. <laughs> I mean, what? Yeah. <laughs> but no, like, but sometimes like, 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 like she's like she realizes she was gone. Something was wrong with her. She slipped something. Thinks back to like you see some of the beats down she's put on, and she changed something. So she becomes, and this would allow for a storyline for like for Sasha, for uh, uh Bailey to like wow like to kind of use that kind of thing as, as them and refusing to acknowledge that they've lost something, and it could be a new element. And they could eventually build up to Asuka finding, finally winning the women's championship at WrestleMania a year over she, after she debuted. All right. To finally besting Becky Lynch. Because we're going to. I like how both of us end the same way. But see the Asuka thing, winning the championship at WrestleMania against somebody that, that she just hasn't been able to beat. But see, actually, if I was going to do it officially my way. Uh, Becky uh, Becky won't lose to Oscar for another three years. Like we'd, be, I'd keep him away after a while for a while. But every time that's they, way too much long term planning, dude. That's why I'm saying I do that at WrestleMania because we're talking about WWE right now. Yeah, but I'm saying like, I mean, Oscar eventually would maybe get drafted to SmackDown. She'd get, uh, keep her. Oh, going. you just it would just be one coincidence that they didn't get to go against each other. It'd be, it wouldn't be like every t- for, they're feuding for three years. No, no, no. no. It's like. When they get the, in those three years, when they do, Becky wins. Right. Sometimes it will be because if you're going to do it by che- a cheating, um, but it would build to this that Asuka can't beat Becky. And finally, when you after, after like a year or so away from each other, a year and a half away from each other, you put them back. They're still not there, but you kind of see that, and you build towards a WrestleMania match with Asuka and Bailey. Not Bailey, Becky. <laughs> wow. And 
Oscar You've done funny. that twice. So I know. Because I'm thinking, because Becky's on SmackDown, I'm thinking Raw, and so Bailey's on. It's just, uh, but doing that where Becky finally falls to Oscar, paying off this years of she finally beat that person she right. couldn't beat. Kind of like the Rock finally being Austin at WrestleMania. Gee, he's beaten him before. Elsewhere. Oh yeah, everywhere else. Everywhere just else couldn't but beat him at it. WrestleMania. He couldn't beat Austin at WrestleMania. Kind of like the Undertaker streak. He finally fell to someone. Yes. Um, but that's how we do it. All right, that's cool. That's cool. I like it. But yeah, it, it's definitely it goes that mind frame. Like I know you had the title of mine. Mine, I wanted the title with the first loss not to be for the championship. Yeah. Because if I was if I was gonna do it anyway, it'd be if I had to change something where I had to put the belt on her immediately. Before WrestleMania, it would be the loss before the storm of her winning the belt. Kind of like she had to fall before she won it. Oh, okay. Unlike in NXT, she, I thought that would be a good way. She loses before she wins it. Nope. Uh, but no. So. All right. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Anyway, that's it. We're yeah. done here. We're done. Yeah. Wow. And we're not, we still have a. Nope. We're, we're gonna, done here. We're going to be short. Uh, anyway. About four minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Hit up the. Uh, Hit the like button. Hit the notific- notification button. Leave a comment down Feel in the f- comment section. Make sure you subscribe. Yeah. Yeah. Please subscribe. Um, we would like that. And down below in the comment section, tell us which uh, scenario you think is the best way for Oscar to take her first loss. And uh, if you think somebody else should be the uh, should be the person that yep. becomes that uh, gets that win over Oscar, let us know who you think. Yeah. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, have a great week. I can't, believe, I can't believe next week we actually could do it. predictions. Predictions! Finally! Oh, yeah! This is going to feel so weird not doing them every other week. I know. 